contribute to this book. My chapter, The Role of UK Companies in the Multilateral Trade Frameworks of the Asia Pacific, tried to take trade with China from a different angle. I think, obviously, these bilateral trade organizations that are well represented in the room today, we have a tendency to view our company's trade with China bilaterally. But of course, the UK and French, Australian, American companies, they're not only in China, they're in Singapore, they're in other markets of the Asia Pacific region. And it's interesting that there are more and more free trade arrangements in the Asia Pacific region that companies can take advantage of. If you are a UK company with an invested presence in Singapore, you can use the terms of these agreements to move staff, move data, move capital around the region. And it's a very new phenomenon. These trade deals have really come into their own in the last five years. And China has been one of the kind of leaders in pursuing that move towards multilateralism in the Asia Pacific. I mean, it's impressive. In the last 10 years, I think China has negotiated five FTAs, which is not a small feat, and FTA is really hard to negotiate. It also has managed to retain a deputy director general at the World Trade Organization. So it shows real intent in you know, pursuing this move towards multilateralism. Now, of course, I'm aware that there are questions, concerns. People say, well, how can China expect to accede to the CPTPP? It's some of the most liberal, forward-thinking trade policy on offer. There would have to be a lot of reform on China's side. It would have to open its markets far wider. If you think back to when the EU-China CAI was first, well, agreed in principle and, well, negotiated, there were very similar um, clauses there where China said it was going to open its markets further. So to my mind, China has now twice said that it plans to um, introduce reforms to open its market to make it more accessible to foreign business. And, you know, these are big negotiations. So you wouldn't say that unless you were thinking about making such reforms. So I think the future for China and these multilateral um, frameworks is bright. And I think UK, Australian, American uh, companies, they stand to gain as well. From the UK side, obviously, British business welcomed China's um, application to join the CPTPP. The UK hopes to be a member of CPTPP alongside it. And also, the UK will probably look to join the RCEP as well. So that's the UK perspective. But I think that there are parallels that can be drawn for companies, whichever market they're from. Thank you.